Hello everybody and welcome back to another video. Oh, okay. One of them's a liar. So, like, now someone's ringing the door, but who is it? We'll be reacting to a Mr. Nightmare horror story. This man has had sounds in his crawl space, and you'll never guess what he finds. Well, he finds something very, very disturbing. Yeah, we're gonna go react to it, and that's what we're gonna do. Let's get reacting. Let's start. Three, two, one, let's go. This is gonna be a little different from my others, and then I'm gonna focus on one story right. instead of three. Okay. To begin, everyone knows what a crawl space is. Yeah. You have one or you don't. We've seen people hiding in them before. Home the that's what we've seen. First floor. Okay. in place of a basement and used for storage. Yep. Usually the scariest things you'd find What in is this disturbing thing which we are going to find in this crawl space? All the spiders! That, that looks disgusting. much more disturbing <gasps> than any creepy Ooh. creatures in this crawl space. Who? What's in, in there? In a nice area of Firestone, Colorado. Okay. Jake owns his own house where his girlfriend lives with him. Right. Jake had met his girlfriend yeah. who remains nameless at a comedy club Jake in town. Jake and his girlfriend, and comedy off, club, eventually start laughs, the date. giggles. At some point during this time, she opened up to him about her old abusive ex. Okay. She described her ex as a ticking time bomb. How right. Time so I'm just going to pause this here. Is the ex going to be underneath the crawl space? That's what I could be thinking. But that's what I am thinking at this very moment. Is the ex in the crawl space? We're 51 seconds in. Let's continue watching. And that she loved his more gentle side, mm -hmm. but that he could switch to a completely different person just like a flick of a switch. Is he going to be in, in the crawl space? Who knows? He was a very aggressive, scary man who would do things like fight bouncers at bars or oh punch goodness. holes in walls when angry, or even sometimes getting physical with her. And he got angry rather easily. Things would become so rocky between the two that eventually mm. she would end things with her ex. Mm -hmm. But he didn't take that news well. She mm. feared that her ex was stalking her parents' house at late hours of the night because either she or her parents her. Would hear sounds from the backyard, like the gate slamming shut or the backyard oh, shed door closing. That would that would make me scared. Her ex disabled all forms of social media after this the This loop may be broken or the page may be removed. She so concerned for her well-being oh, right. that she decided to move in with her current boyfriend Jake. Mm -hmm. So her and Jake just moved in together. To with anything. Well, on one regular night that Jake's girlfriend wasn't in the house with him, okay. he was in his living room when he heard noises from in the crawl space. <gasps> he moved from Who is living in the crawl space? Who is in the... It's the boyfriend, or the ex-boyfriend. Hearing strange occasional thumping sound. I'm saying this now, it's the ex-boyfriend. He's inside there. From directly below him. It was at this time that he started right. to record a video for his Snapchat story. Oh, we actually going to so see what happens. What he was hearing was an <gasps> animal of oh my goodness. Kind, such as a raccoon. Oh, we are. Oh, my God. Oh. Where the fuck is it, boys? I, I would like to know as well. Who is it? Holy shit. I love when there's like actual video evidence on here because it's like, this is true. This has actually happened. <gasps> What's going on? I don't know what's going to happen. Is it good? Oh. Is he gonna go in the crawl space? Oh, he's got some balls. I could not do that. Not at all. I could not be going in a crawl space. He's going in there. Oh, he's going in there. Who is it? Who's there? Is that, oh my God, is that a little? Oh my goodness, I don't, this is quite intense. What is going to happen when he goes down these ladders? Well, I'm, I'm pretty scared. I don't know what's going to happen. I'm watching very closely. Is there anything down there? Not that I can see. Maybe you need a flashlight or something. Wait. Has he got a flashlight? As he enters his crawl space, he stops recording for a second so that he could take another video with the flash on so that he could... He's gonna put the flash on and we're gonna see who's inside this crawl space. I don't know who's inside, but let's keep watching to find I out. The crawl space. 
The crawl space appears to be mostly empty, aside from some boxes in her. Right, Jake yeah. says when he saw these boxes this way, he was confused because he didn't mm -hmm. remember leaving them that way. No! I'm going to be behind it. Oh my goodness, golly gosh. Who's behind here? Oh. Is someone going to be behind there? I didn't see anyone. I don't see anyone behind there. We don't see anybody. I mean, this is going to be pretty scary considering it's just you. Oh! Oh! Deeper into the crawl space where the left side expands further down. <gasps> that made me jump! Corner, like pebbles being scraped on the concrete floor. As he heard the noise, he turned to the corner where he saw the terrifying sight of a hunched over man dressed in all black who was hiding in the corner behind a wall, now getting up and approaching Jake. Get out of there! sounded like now. a legitimate scream from somebody witnessing something as disturbing as an intruder hiding in their crawl space and then basically lunging at them. The video cuts out seconds later, as being that it was a Snapchat video. Once he let go of the record button, the video stopped. At this point, Jake explained that he ran back to the ladder oh of the crawl God. space, and as he climbed up, the man grabbed his foot and tried to pull <gasps> him down. Oh my God! Jake managed to kick his way out of the grip and slam the crawl space door in his face. Unfortunately, the door to the closet, which contained the crawl space door, didn't have a lock. So Jake's first instinct was to run to the kitchen and grab the biggest knife, then lock himself inside the bathroom. Oh my goodness. He heard the closet door open, and then footsteps come over to the bathroom door, and then the man on the other side of the door try the doorknob. Not knowing what kind of weapons the person might have had, Jake didn't engage the intruder in a fight. Instead, he silently called 911 and kept the line going, and eventually, he heard footsteps quickly leave the house out the front door. Now, Jake told the 911 operator about the break-in. Yeah. And so police came to the house, conducted Terrifying. a quick investigation. That is scary. And a police report was created for Is the it the incident. boyfriend though? Is it the boyfriend? Jake's girlfriend refused to come to the house after hearing of the incident because she swore left and right that the man had to be her ex. Oh, see. It's impossible to make out any notable facial features on the man in the video. Mm -hmm. Jake says he saw that the man was wearing a black mask and his head was covered by a hood, which you can kind of see in the video. That Jake made me also jump. described the man's head. I was speaking tall, and then I looked and then he was stature, there. And I didn't despite his hunched it. over posture in the crawl space, Jake's girlfriend's ex was a very tall man. And upon yeah. watching the video, she swears it looks just like his body. Of course, this is just speculation on her part. Wow. Without solid evidence, legally, they don't have much of a leg to stand on as far as pressing charges. In the video, though, loud thumping and hammering type sounds could be heard in the beginning. Yep. And after investigating, Jake found that the intruder had ripped through some of the insulation of the crawl space and had been hammering at some of the wood in the ceiling of the crawl space. Oh my and god. Also some of the pipes. It's unknown why he was doing this. Why, right, yeah. It was also discovered that the key that the couple hides in one of their sheds outside was missing, which already revealed how the intruder got inside. Oh god. I'd insinuate that the man who broke in had his eyes on the house for a while. Jake changed the locks on the door that same day, but his girlfriend has yet to return to that house. She's not come back. Not oh my goodness! By her crazy ex-boyfriend. Oh wow! Jake has installed a ring doorbell camera recently, and on several occasions, he's gotten a notification from his Alexa device that there's someone at his front door, but there's never anybody actually there, not visibly at least. While there isn't any solid evidence as to who the intruder was, that did make me jump a lot. That, that made me is, in fact, literally jump out of my skin. It started as a guy simply trying to get a funny Snapchat story of what he assumed to be a raccoon in his crawl space. Yeah. Turned into something much more horrible. A home invasion. The start of a nightmare, even. Jake said he would keep me updated on the matter. So if any new information comes up, oh, definitely. I'd consider making a follow up if you guys would be interested. So that is the the end to that video everybody um obviously we've just do we think it was the man the ex-boyfriend a hundred percent i think it was the ex-boyfriend in the crawl space who else would be in there i mean it's not who else but yeah it's definitely the ex-boyfriend that i think he's definitely in there that was very scary i did not expect that to be honest and then when he went in and i screamed and i was like oh that generally made me jump like not a lot of these nightmare horror stories genuinely make me jump actually quite a lot of them make me jump but yeah, this was a fun little video to read, not fun, but like this was a cool little video to react to everybody. Um, I do hope you have enjoyed this video. Uh, and if you do, make sure to give it a massive thumbs up. Make sure to leave a nice comment and subscribe. And I will see you all next time for a brand new video. Bye bye everyone. Oh, okay. One of them's a liar. So now someone's ringing the doorbell. Who is it?